Jack Films is the production company which is responsible for the making of the Star Wars movies. Within Jack Films is the art department and of course the pre-visualization department. In the past, animatics were done on paper in terms of storyboards, usually black and white cartoon type drawings, oftentimes varying in quality, but always, always very good at getting the point across. For episode two, we went five or six levels beyond that. And that's really where Maya came. We had fully fleshed out models, complete with articulate parts, dynamically reacting chain reaction type events. We had particle systems for laser bolts. We had particle systems for missile trails, explosions, interactivity between different things, automated from start to finish so that the people doing the shots didn't have to do a lot of manual labor. We had to, we had to think differently according to the different sequences and we had to come up with different methods or ways to do certain things. Mai gave us the tools we needed to do those things. Everything is very simple to use, but at the same time, incredibly high detail. The power of Maya's interactivity and the power of its scripting abilities and its ability to swap out high for low res models enables us to do things that are very close to final work. In fact, the process that we use for animatics now is very close to doing final production. We'll model something, texture it, light it, render it, We'll render in layers. We'll composite in After Effects afterwards. The best part about Maya is the problem-solving methods and the speed at which it was done. It feels natural for me, and it's the fastest way I can get what's in my head out into 3D space and letting George see it. We not only did the animation, but also decided the colors, moods, lighting, different aspect of the shots and the Maya's tools we could uh, experiment with different settings different colors fairly easily and quickly so George could have uh, multiple choices of what he wanted in shots in terms of Maya's tool set whether you're talking about modeling doing dynamics lighting texturing whatever you want to do it's available in Maya all of them are very thoughtfully put into the production pipeline. They're very easy to use. In terms of the level of work we did for episode two, much of it would not have happened if it were not for Maya. If you can dream it, you can do it. With the world's most powerful 3D software, 